Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Phoebe, if you are new here. Thank you for joining. So today we are going to be doing a simple eyeshadow look featuring the $3 e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. This is their Carnival Candy Bite Size eyeshadow palette. And I picked this up from Target, it's like $3.99. Still under like $5. Um, this palette is amazing, it's pigmented, and I was like, why not just do a tutorial teaching you all how to do a simple eyeshadow look featuring a simple palette. So if you are interested in seeing what I do with this palette, keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe. All right, so to start, we're gonna prime our eyes. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I already did my base, which is pretty much my face and my eyebrows. We are focusing on just eyeshadow today. So if you wanna see how I do my base, let me know in the comments below or check out my Instagram page. So you're gonna put this primer all over your lids. I'm gonna lightly set my primer with my setting powder. Excuse that noise. Just lightly. And then I'm also gonna apply some um, setting powder under my eyes just to catch any fallouts. Because I already did my face, I don't want any eyeshadow to mess it up. All right, I'm gonna start with this tan or brown color right here. Sorry, I'm gonna apply that all over, not all over, actually, I'm gonna apply that to the top of my lid, and this is gonna work as my transition shade. You can already see the color. That's just how amazing this palette is. So whenever you pick up your color, you wanna tap a bit of it off so you don't um, get any fallouts and just so that you can put enough color and build it up on your lids. If you don't tap it off, you're probably gonna put on too much, which is gonna make it hard to blend. Once you have applied your transition shade, both lids, make sure you blend it all the way out. We don't want any harsh lines. We are going to go in with our next color. And for the next color, I'm gonna go in with this brick red. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna put it on my eyelids, but I'm gonna put it right below um, in my crease where I applied my transition shade, a little bit where I applied it. Um, I'm using the Sonia Kushak brush. I'm going to tell you all every brush that I use down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing them. So using my Sonia Kushak blending crease brush, I'm gonna pack the color right here first. So you see that red right there. And I'm not going on my lids, but I'm going above my lids in my crease. Once you pack the color, you're gonna take your brush and start blending inwards. You wanna hold on to your brush very lightly. Don't hold here, hold right here because it allows you to just do even strokes while you're blending. Um, if you hold it here, it makes it hard to blend and it's gonna leave you with harsh lines. Holding it right here allows you to easily maneuver your brush. And you see how the color is moving in. Taking our first brush, which I did not tell you all, it's a Morphe 504 brush. I am not adding any product. I'm just taking it to blend out any of the brick red that I put. I wanna just make sure that I don't have any harsh lines between the two colors. So I'm literally just going back and forth. Do y'all see that big pimple? So disrespectful. Next, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Putty Primer. This is in a different color. I have two. This one is in white. Um, the one I used at first was a tannish, um, tan color. The white one I'm using because of the look that we're about to achieve. So I'm gonna apply this over my lid. 
I'm using a flat brush. I'm not going all the way to where the red is. I'm doing it just right here. So it's like a little more than half of my lid is being covered with this primer. And you can repeat on the other eye. It looks like a cut crease, it's not. We're going to go in with this pink color, this one right here. And that's what's really gonna give us the look that we're going for today. Um, it's a simple eyeshadow look, but it's enough that you can take it from day to night. And I'll show you guys how. I'm using a medium eyeshadow brush by Sonia Kushek. And I am just packing that color onto the area that I just primed. We're gonna go back in with our crease brush, actually, wrong brush, and we're going to blend. So we're done with the upper lids. We're going to move down to our waterline. And for my waterline, I'm going in with NYX Professional Makeup Epic Wear Liner Stick in the color turquoise. And I'm just applying that to my lower lash line. And this is going to be a primer for what I'm about to do next. This is where you take this look from daytime to nighttime. Once you have applied the color evenly under your waterline, you are going to go in, or we are gonna go in, with this blue shade right here. I told y'all we was about to set it off. This look is about to be so bomb. It's too sad that we can't go nowhere. Okay. So I use my pinky to hold down my lash line, and then I go in with my brush. So we are done with the palette. In order to make, I, in my opinion, I feel like in order to make your eyeshadow really pop, you either wanna add lashes or add some mascara. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do both. I'm going to add some mascara and then I'm going to put on some lashes. Um, I'm gonna go in with this NARS um, eyeshadow. It's in the color Himalaya. And where I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in my tear duct just to make it pop. I'm not really doing a lot. And that's all. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna go in with some mascara for the bottom lashes. Try not to get this black on that blue. You want the blue to pop without the black touching it. So you wanna look up. I 
All right, so this is the final look for this lip combo that I have going on. I have on the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the color Crystal. Amazing. I have the Revlon lipstick in the color Pick Me Up. This is their Revlon Super Lustrous Matte Lipstick. It's pretty new. I don't know if I'm new to it or if it's new new, but this combination is amazing. For my lip liner, I use the NYX Professional Lip Liner Pencil in the color Espresso. It's like Chestnut from MAC, except cheaper. But this three, the combination is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please subscribe, turn on your bell notifications and comment. Let me know what else is you, you guys wanna see. Let me know what else it is that you guys wanna see. I'm talking too fast. Um, but I enjoyed this tutorial. It's short, it's simple. The palette is beautiful. The palette is inexpensive. The palette gives you a great look. Okay, see you guys in the next video.